Hey guys, Darren here with Renaissance Coders, and today we're going to be talking about what layers are. Now you may have seen the term layers thrown around in forums, or you may have even just come across the term in your Unity Inspector during development, and you might not know what they are. So today we're going to clear the air and talk about what layers are, we're going to talk about some common uses, and talk about, um, we're, actually, we're actually going to provide an, an example at the end of this tutorial about how you can use layers to accomplish a common task. Okay, so let's start off by defining what layers are. You can think of layers as folders, a way of categorizing objects, and these are going to be similar to tags. Okay, now generally, um, as I said, they are similar to tags, but generally you'll be using layers for the more broad scope um, categorizations, and you'll be using tags for the more narrow scope. For example, you might use uh, an enemy layer, and your enemies might have different tags, such as aliens, turrets, or whatever type of enemy you guys have in your games. Okay, and we'll be actually using these um, this two-tiered categorization system to give our uh, more specific game objects particular tasks. And we'll be using layers to uh, find the general game object so we can perform a large action on a large group or a large set of game objects. Okay, so how can we use these layers? Well, there's two popular uses that I've come across with my Unity experience. Uh, I'm sure there are many different uses of layers, but these are the two main ones. Okay, number one, to check if a certain type of object is near a target point. So let's think about if we have a player running around in our scene and we come across an object on the enemy layer, we want to perform some sort of action. So that action could be anything from um, running some sort of AI action, so we might tell the enemy to uh, call out to its friends or we might tell the enemy to run towards the player um, but we also might do other things like throw up and throw up a UI element on the enemy um, for the player to see whenever they get within a certain range of an object on the enemy layer. Now there's another use on um, on this topic that is really common which is checking if the player is grounded so what we'll do is we'll put the ground all the objects that we want the player to be able to jump on on the ground layer. So anything, again, anything that the player can jump off of we'll put on the ground layer. Um, or we can put it on another layer that we allow the player to jump off of. But regardless, what we'll end up doing is shooting a ray down from the player, checking to see if it's on one of the ground layers, and if it's within a certain distance, we will tell the player that they are grounded or not to determine if the player is allowed to jump or not. So that's a really common use with layers that you guys will um, most likely come across in your Unity development um, lifetime. Okay. Now the second most common use for me anyway is uh, for layers is to avoid drawing a certain type of object. We can actually remove the layer from the camera's calling mask that we don't want to draw. And this can actually give us a huge performance boost based on what it is that we are calling out of the camera's rendering pipeline. Alright guys, now why, you guys might be wondering, why have both tags and layers? And as I mentioned before, it's simply because uh, it gives us the opportunity to have this, to utilize this two-tiered organization system uh, where we can perform high level actions on objects and then we can perform lower level actions on the more specific uh, objects within the same layer. So again, let's go back to our example where we have an enemy layer. And on this enemy layer we have objects that are tagged aliens or tagged turrets or again whatever type of enemy you have. And we want different actions to be happening um, on those more specific enemies. So that's the reason we have layers and tags. Um, and you guys should be able to find good good uses out of having both layers and tags, uh, they're definitely nice to be able to use in conjunction. Alright, now that we've talked about tags and you guys should have a clear understanding on what they are, I want to provide you guys with an example of how you can use layers to accomplish this number two task here. So what we're going to do is have a, a small little uh, project that is going to be responsible for calling out certain objects from the camera's rendering pipeline. The way we do that is first we assign a layer to an object or a group of objects and then we tell the camera not to draw it. And again this sort of action could give us a huge performance boost 
based on what it is that we are calling out. Okay, so let's jump into our Unity project. As you can see here, I have a really simple scene where we just have nine cubes, three different colors. All right, let's look at my hierarchy. We have red cubes, green cubes, yellow cubes in my hierarchy. Now notice over here, towards the top of my inspector, we have the tags and the layers. Now my layers, I have green cubes, yellow cubes, and uh, red cubes. So what I want to do is show you guys how you can add a layer. We're going to go add layer. And then, as you can see here, I, I set a new layer. I'll go ahead and delete that, and then I'll uh, call another another object, and I'll call it orange cube. Okay, and now whenever we go to click on our object, we can actually reassign our layer by just clicking on that. So this red cube is actually now on the orange cubes layer. Okay, let's go to our camera, and now what we want to do is tell the camera what it's going to be drawing based on layers. So you can see this setting here in the camera's inspector called Culling Mask, and right now it's set to everything, which means it's going to draw everything in your scene. Now we could say nothing, and you can see that it's not drawing anything in the scene, not even the floor. I'll set that back to everything. Okay, so now let's say we don't want to draw any of the red cubes. Okay, so if you remember, I actually set this one red cube to the orange layer so let me go ahead and set that back to the red layer and you can see that it disappears because we're telling the camera not to draw it and again this is all based on layers so I'll tell it not to draw the yellow cubes and now all we can see is the green cubes um, and I'll tell it not to draw the green cubes and now we see nothing okay so that's one of the that's actually a really common example of how we can use layers and that is going to end our tutorial actually Okay, so you guys learned about uh, everything about layers. You guys learned how you can use layers for one of the most common uh, uses of layers. And if you guys have any more questions or you want to see a more detailed tutorial on how to use layers or maybe some more detailed examples of how to use layers, please feel free to provide those questions and requests in the comment section below. If we get enough of those requests, I will feel, um, I'll, I'll be pleased to do an, an extension of this tutorial. But as always, guys, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.